you mean to tell me I could have been buying my lashes through Amazon for this quality? That's insane. That is so not cute. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Yo, what's good y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button down there. Today, I have an exciting video for y'all. Well, it's exciting for me. So, I went on Amazon and I decided, you know what? We're going to try out some 25 millimeter lashes. Low-key, Amazon, we having them for jugs. So, I got these two right here. This brand, I don't remember what it was. Let me see. And one of them, the brand is called McKeeley. The links will be in the description box. This one is all the same style. Um, and they seem to be more of like the, not natural looking, but like more calmed down volume wise. And then this one has seven different styles y'all these ones go crazy as in voluminous this is what all these styles look like and i believe like these two go together these two go together i think you can figure it out i have eight styles in total and this is my first impressions because i've never ordered lashes from amazon i've never tried 25 millimeter lashes so Let's get right into it. And I'm doing this for y'all because sometimes I know there be some styles that look nice online and then they turn out not so nice when you get them in the mail. But these ones actually look hella nice. I haven't felt the texture of them to see if they're soft or whatever. But let me just get my glue. We're going to jump straight into the McKeeley ones first. We're going to start from the middle and then just work our way out. Okay, but the thing is, I don't know. I think that's the inner corner. These things are so long, y'all. I for surely need to trim them. Because... <laughs> my lash line ain't that long. I barely cut off any on this lash, actually. I cut off literally the smallest bit. These are the biggest lashes I have ever worn in my life. Okay, so I just put one on. Oh my god! Gosh, I don't even have to look up for y'all to see the length of this lash. These lashes literally go above my eyebrow look. I feel it like right here. I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing because sometimes these big lashes be making people look scary when they just like... Uh, I could have for surely cut this right lash just a little bit, just a little bit more, but... <laughs> Do y'all see? That's insane. That's so insane. But I love it. I really love it. I'm just gonna give y'all a close up. Oh my gosh. That's so crazy. <laughs> so that's what I love about these. The band isn't too thick. Like it's thick enough to be good quality, but not thick enough to be too much, if that makes sense. Cause I'm really picky about my lash bands. Cause I don't like it to be super, super thin. I don't even wanna take these off, but I have to. Let's get into the next style. We're gonna take these ones right here so here's what this one looks like is it focus so i'm already kind of not a fan of these even though i normally like styles like this oh that look ugly looking at it from afar it don't look that bad they're kind of growing on me not gonna lie i was really tripping in the first half but these might be okay they just might I just might be a hoe. Okay, we're gonna put this on. See what it do. We all love us through and through until we made it through the storm. The left one definitely looks a lot better than the right one. I don't know what the hell happened right here. The variation just isn't sitting right with me. But the left one, that one's a different story. These are just hella long. I'm so not used to it. I feel like people are gonna judge me, but you know what? Do I care? No. And the lashes are the only things that people can be seeing when I got my mask on. I think these are even higher, if you can see that. I like these. I like these a lot. I'm sorry for dissing you in the beginning. You know, I was judging a book by its cover. And now I don't even want to take these ones off. I'm so sad. It's like breaking up with my lashes. We're going to try on these other ones. The top and bottom one. Clearly, they're too long, so I'm gonna cut the edges. We're gonna glue these ones on too. These ones look hella voluminous, so I don't know how to feel about it because it kind of gives me, what's that one movie? By Tim Burton, the Nightmare Before Christmas vibes. Yeah, I think y'all know what I'm talking about. 
Woo! Here's what it looks like up close. And yes, it touches. I'm pretty sure all these touch above my eyebrow. That's how long they look. I haven't even seen how long they look from this side. Oh my god. Right, so we're gonna take this one and this one. Don't know how to feel about these because like what is that? Or maybe I'm just gluing them too close to my inner corner. Ugh. I think for these ones, they're meant to start like right here and not all the way up in here. I feel like they're definitely a lot shorter because they're more natural looking. Uh, the next one, we're gonna work on this outer part right here. Oh yeah, I know I like these ones already. Uh, these are definitely one of the lighter styles. This is like a more wispier version of the one that had gaps. I really like these. I feel like they're good for everyday wear because these are the more toned down ones. Okay, we got two more in this one. So we're gonna take these end ones right here. Mama! Literally two inches long. No, but these ones are like- These are way- No, listen. Long. How the heck are they not bringing your eyes down? You're not letting me. You're not letting me defend myself. Mom, these ones aren't even like the longest ones that I've- Can You see these? Think? Let me see what the Okay, so that's that. Here's what these ones look like. I'm sorry y'all, I've been doing bad at showing you up close what they be looking like, but I feel like what matters is what it looks like on the eye. Okay, they're pretty much sticky, so there's really no point for me to glue it on, but here's what they look like. I still don't know how I feel about the inner corner, that's the only thing turning me off, is that little, those little pieces right there, but... Um... Here's what they look like up close. Very, very flared out. And then we have the last style from this little container on these edges right here, if you're holding it straight up. Oh, we like these ones. This is what it look like on my eye. Okay, yeah, no, I need to cut it. Cause the what is that? Why is it just sticking up like that? Yeah, they for sure they gave me two of the left lash, but it's okay, we're gonna make it work. Here's what it looks like. Still touches above my eyebrow. Um, that was the last, that was the last lash of this pack. And so now we're gonna move on to this one. And like I said, all the styles are the same. So I'm just gonna try on one pair and see how that looks. And this looks a lot less dramatic. So this could be really good for everyday makeup looks, hopefully. That's what this one looks like. Um, I feel like this one specifically just curls really weird. Okay, we're gonna try a different one. These ones, I think the pairs are next to each other and not across because I'm looking at the patterns. It makes more sense that way. Woo! Kind of scared me for a moment. Oh yeah, these are way better. Hold up. I don't know if it's just the variation, but low-key, they kind of be looking a little different. Do y'all see this? You cannot tell me that these are the same style. What? On the website, I'm pretty sure it said they were all the same style. They got me out here with mixed match lashes. I guess those kind of look similar. Yeah, so I'm just gonna say I give this whole pack a five because the styles are cute and the intentions they had were good and i'm so sad because i literally have seven of them and i don't know which matches with what but i don't even know if i want to show you guys this up close because i just feel like they look so different highly suggest to get the McKeeley ones versus the other one but i'll still put the link in the description box for you guys to check it out i'm gonna put the middle ones on because those ones probably were my top two for sure trust the McKeeley brand on amazon if you decide to go get lashes through them 10 out of 10 10 out of 10. well we have reached the end of this lash haul review try on video if y'all enjoyed me doing a review like this give it a thumbs up and comment below if you want more videos like this because now i'm pretty sure i'm gonna be buying 
this brand right here more from Amazon and I might just say goodbye to the old lashes that I used to use because the old ones they're not that bad but they're still like kind of expensive for it not being as thick and voluminous like these they were like eight 99 or 7.99 each and they weren't even that like dramatic and this whole pack i think was maybe 6.99 7.99 bottom line both of the packs that i bought were each less than ten dollars so definitely affordable and definitely worth the price because you get different styles and they're this freaking thick everybody stay safe stay healthy wear your damn masks while you're outside in public and I'll catch everybody later. Bye, y'all.